is a rather toss there. Praise the Lord. In Daniel 3, 19 to 22, Daniel 3, 19 to 22, the fiery furnace was seated seven times more to roast the three Hebrew boys. It was the king's strong men that ended up being roasted. I decree the evil plot of the wicked will backfire against them in Jesus' name. Say amen. God bless you. Today we'll be speaking about don't be intimidated. Taken from Daniel 3.15. Daniel 3.15. Don't be intimidated. Now, if you are ready, at the time you hear the sound of the horn, the flute, the harp, the lyre, and the sultry, and the symphony, or the symphony, with all kinds of music, and you fall down and worship the image which I have made good. But if you do not worship, you shall be cast immediately in the midst of a fiery, burning fiery furnace. And who is the God who will deliver you from my hands? Daniel 3, 15. This was Nebuchadnezzar, the king, that have set up an image inspired by the devil. And now these three Hebrew boys decided that we will not be cowed. We will not be intimidated. Now, let's start. One of the weapons in the hands of the devil is intimidation. He wants to subdue you. He wants to call you. To intimidate means to frighten someone, to cause you to be timid, to be afraid, cause heart, fear in the heart of the person. You know, I remember a story in the Bible that the Bible says that they were so much afraid that their heart shook like the trees in the forest. That's Isaiah 7. Isaiah 7. Okay. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 1 7, 2 Timothy 1 7, God has not given this, us the spirit of fear, of timidity, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. I want to encourage you, like the three Hebrew boys, the devil will try to use anyone, any situation to intimidate, frighten, or cow us. No matter the challenge we face with our finances, with our health, in our marriages, no matter what they are, how frightened they are, never give up to satanic intimidation. Never give up to fear. Stand your ground. There is a God that can deliver. That king said, who is the God that can deliver? But look at, I'm going to read something to you. The same king that said, who is the God that will deliver? Is the same king that said this about the greatness of our God. Nebuchadnezzar spoke saying, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered his servant who trusted in him. And they have frustrated the king's words and yielded their bodies that they should not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make a decree that any people, nation, or language which speak anything amiss against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made an aship, because there is no other god who can deliver like this. Daniel chapter 3, 28 to 29. Daniel chapter 3, 28 to 29. Never you give up. Jesus Christ is the only way for you to win battles and stand your ground. Let's pray. Father, in my life, in my family, in my nation, prove that you are the great deliverer. Let the enemy or his agent never be able to intimidate, harass, or conquer me. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Receive Jesus today as your Lord and Savior.